is amazing, this son of mine. Dare I call Jesus my son? Sometimes it actually sounds presumptuous. Sometimes it seems it simply isn't possible that I gave birth to a man of God. He has healed thousands, paralytics, lepers, those with fever, and it hasn't mattered, hasn't mattered whether they were rich or poor, wise or foolish, important or common. He has cleansed the minds of so many, some, like Mary, so possessed by demons, no one would even go near them. Some whose anxieties were so subtle, they were recognized by no one else but Jesus. Where a godly man has ignored women, Jesus has healed them, forgiven them, taught them, believed in them. He has opened his arms to children and to those cast out by everyone else. He has taught people that it is more important to be kind than religious, and that God loves all people who believe in him, and will especially reward those who love their neighbor before anything else. He has astonished thousands with what he says and does, and I am as amazed as they are. My son, Jesus is my son. I have worried about his health. He works so hard and uses far more energy than anyone realizes when he tends to the sick. He has walked miles and miles practically every day and has taught in every town he has come to. Jesus said there had to be 4,000 or more listeners when he spoke to John and Bethesda. I can't imagine. I am proud that my son is dedicated to spreading God's word to the people. And today, I saw how much he is loved. Hundreds of people lined the roadside and shouted, Hosanna. They threw garlands in his path and kissed the hem of his robe. They treated him like a king, and truly he does at last seem to have a kingdom. I am his mother, and I am so proud of him. He has overcome obstacle after obstacle placed in his path by those who should know better. He entered Jerusalem despite warnings to stay away, despite attempts by his own disciples to hide him. There is danger, he knows. He has so much courage and such love for his people, though. That is why he came, for them, for his people. I am overcome with love and gratitude for this child of mine. When the angel came to me and told me I would bear the special child, I felt blessed among all women, for I had found honor with our Lord God. 